Wah. Brap. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Thank you so much for a stopping by. I am back, yes, finally, after my week of sickness, I am back to making videos, so thank you guys for your patience. Let's do this thing. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, you guys. I uh, got strep throat for a week, and I'm still kind of getting over it right now, so if I don't seem kind of as... as woof, as, as normal, um, that might be why. And no, I did not have coronavirus, so before everyone comments down below, oh, did you have coronavirus? No, no, I had strep throat. I had strep throat, I did not have coronavirus. No, I did, I did not have coronavirus. Do not comment it. I, I can, I can feel you down there. I did not have, yeah, I'm finally feeling better today, so I thought we might take this opportunity, take a look at a figure, maybe do a quick little figure unboxing, just to get back in the groove of things. Last video I did, I think I opened up four otaku boxes in one video, and I think that took uh, probably about four years off my life, so I thought we might do something a little bit more refreshing, something that might uh, regain my soul back. But yeah, we got a few figures to choose from. I wasn't sure exactly which one you guys wanted to see. Of course, here in the middle, we got uh, Liliana from uh, Wagaya, uh, one of my personal favorite things of all time so I mean that's definitely one option then from seven heavenly virtues we also have the patience the Uriel figure that we could take a look at uh, we also have Liliana from Wagaya so I mean we could take a look at that if you if you guys want it obviously then over here off to the side this small little Q6 figure this 112 scale we have you not you you you, you, we have Yuana, uh, I believe this is like Cute Succubus is what it's called. Um, yeah, so we could open up a, a wee little figure. And then of course we also have this uh, Liliana from Ogaya, so yeah. L leave your, cast your vote now. Yeah, as much as I want to open up uh, Liliana so, so very badly, I mean, just, just look at that. Uh, let me in there. I think there's a figure that uh, we owe a figure unboxing to, a, a figure that we have not uh, taken a look at in, in several months. A figure that's kind of turned into a meme around uh, my Discord and such. So uh, I think it's time we finally make a video on her. Uh, you guys don't know how painful this is for me not to open this Wagaya figure. Yes, today we are going to be taking a look at the Pulchera Bastet figure, their 1-6 scale. Let's do this. Yeah, people have been wanting me to open this figure for, I don't know, probably about six months or so, or longer. Could be longer. And honestly, I'm not sure why I haven't. Uh, I think I just haven't had the time or I've had different videos that I've been wanting to do. I mean, there's no reason not to like this figure. She's tan. She's got a, she got a big old booty. That's pretty much it. That's that's as much as I need. Gosh, it's, it's actually dusty on top. Man, I feel bad. We are going to be taking a look at the Bastet 1-6 scale figure by Polchera. I did buy this pre-owned. That's why we do have some obvious box wear here on the back. And the seal has been popped. So she is not new, but she is new to me. Right off the bat, I do really like the box. And Polchera does this a lot too, where they kind of theme the box around the figure inside. So you got a lot of like, this cool Egyptian theme on the box. I mean, it's not uh, completely necessary, but it's a nice touch. I mean, it, it grabs my eye as a consumer. So, you know, that's always that's always important. Yeah, I mean, this, this little box square here on the back is somewhat concerning, but uh, it looks like she's all in one piece. I mean... We'll find out. I'm a little bit outside the return policy at this point. But let's go ahead and take a look at this figure. I don't even need a knife because she's already open. This this box has seen better days, but that's okay. I don't I don't judge a figure by its box. I judge a box by its figure. First look at the figure for you guys. Uh, as you can see, one six scale, so she's pretty big. She is in kind of a a squatting position, so she's not quite as tall as a typical one six, but the uh, the proportions are still there. Oh no, this has actually been retaped. So, hmm. Once again, I do not have a knife. I really should should purchase a knife. I mean, Type C charging cord has worked in the past. Oh no, this is actually a micro USB. Why do I even have this? It's all like burnt right here too. What? Why do I still have this? Okay, this is getting thrown away right after I use this, cut open this box. Open sesame. All right, I think we got her all open now. We're, we're about to find out. One, two, three, four. This figure is looking a little sore. Oh my God, she's, 
Yeah, okay. I like it. When AP goes, huh, that means, uh, that means he likes it. All right, so here is the base. Uh, the good about it is it actually uses metal pegs, it looks like, instead of plastic ones, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the bad is it's, it's just black, which, I mean, I have nothing against black, but I mean, it'd be nice to have, like, a little bit of a a theme on it, keeping with the Egyptian theme. And I'm gonna go ahead and take her out of the package. Yeah. Yeah. Just, there we go. Perfect, right into my bathroom. Go ahead and show you guys here, being, being real careful. I won't drop her, I promise. Oh God. I mean, look at that. She's looking, she's looking real good. You know what's interesting is when they test you for strep throat, Pretty much what they do is they take a they take a Q-tip and they just kind of deep throat you with it. They just kind of shove it right down your throat. And I think that's kind of weird. I mean, I remember getting that same test as a kid, but that was that was many moons ago. It's it's 2020. I think it's time to come up for a new way of testing for something other than deep throating me with a fucking Q-tip. Well, not deep throating me. I don't if that if the doctor did that, I'd be I'd be kind of confused. There we go, you guys. I finally got her on the base. Wasn't too bad. Seems like this is a pretty well-designed and simple figure, yet elegant. First impressions, the skin tone. The skin tone is absolutely perfect. I mean, it is just spot on. The detail, the folds on her skin, the way that the, the clothes kind of, you know, constrict the, just the voluptuous woman. God, that, that was a, God, that was a, that was a, that's the, that's probably one of the cringiest things I've ever said on, on camera, at least. The way that the pressure of the clothes kind of uh, affects the skin is absolutely perfect. And then just the way that the gold uh, kind of contrasts the darker hair and then the darker tone of the skin is just perfect in my book. One thing I forgot to mention earlier in this video is this figure is based off an original character by the artist Hotengeki. I, I highly doubt I'm saying that correctly. I'll go ahead and, and put their name right here, right here, maybe right across my forehead. But yeah, they're a, a very talented artist. I mean, they, they are very unique in their art style, but just so, so freaking good. I, it's, it's amazing. Everyone check him out if you're over 18, because he has a lot of over 18 pieces. I believe that they're the same artist behind the original character design for my Insight Anubis figure, which I actually did a video on way back in the day, so if you guys want to check that out, I'll try to link it down in the description or, or do a little, you know, little meme up here. Pretty much their art is incredible, so to have a figure that replicates that, I would say, just about perfectly is pretty darn cool. One thing I had totally forgotten about is she actually has something in her hand here. It's this little little scepter. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what she's doing with that. Let me investigate. Looks like one of those massagers that you get that like rotates and you like rub it. You rub it on you. So yeah, I don't, I don't know what she's doing with it down there. I think you're supposed to use that on your back. Everyone go out and buy yourself a darker skin figure. It's, it's time to diversify. Even though I keep all mine on one shelf in my Detolf cabinet. So I don't support segregation. But yeah, it's pretty much exactly what I was thinking it was gonna be. Pretty much a 10 out of 10 figure from a 10 out of 10 artist. So there's my thoughts on the figure, which I'm sure all you guys were just aching to know. I think it's time though, I give you guys a little bit of B-roll footage. Go AP, do the, go AP, do the B-roll footage. This usually takes me way too long. But here's a closer look at the Bastet figure for all you guys at home. Enjoy. <laughs>
my god, she is. She is so hot. I think she might be my new mascot. I just, I love the back detail, which I'm not really like a big a back person, but her back is just... Oh, it is perfect. I can't really think of a another figure I have that has a better a better back as her. Alrighty, guys, there was the infamous Bastet figure review. I hope that all you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. I'm sure I'm going to be posting more of this figure and all my other figures on Instagram and on my Discord. So if you guys do want to check that out, the link will be down in the description. I can post a lot on there that I can't post on YouTube. So if you want to see more of my collection, be sure to check those out. Also, the P.O. Box is still open, so if you want to be in the next Weeb Unboxing video, uh, you can always send me something. It can be a letter. It can be a drawing. It can be... Oh, gosh, what, what would be a cool thing? It could even be a yo-yo. A I don't care. I mean, I could... I was pretty good at yo-yoing, actually, back in the day. That was, that was briefly popular, probably in, like, 2000 three 2004 but that's all i had for this video thank you everyone who has come by and subscribed and commented i do appreciate every single one of you and i will catch you in the next video peace I really want to open that Liliana figure. Like I'm, I'm in the figure opening mood now. I've, I've smelt the scent of the figures. I'm raring to go.